Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Jay Nicholas. This is another in our series of saltwater fly tying and fly fishing videos. Alright, this is a, a part of our saltwater fly series. This is a shimmer candy. It's, a, it's a, an adaptation of a surf candy fly. This particular fly is tied principally for sea run cutthroat, uh, Puget Sound, uh, Washington, Oregon, uh, Northern California estuaries. Um, it's it's a bait fish, and, and I'm using ice dub shimmer fringe. And this stuff is a little tricky. It turns out the fibers can be different lengths on different pieces and there is a range of fibers fiber length in each piece it's great stuff to work with you simply need to be aware that you will have to adapt and I want this fly to be in the two inch range which isn't very big I'm using a clear mono thread and a must add 3407 hook this is a size 4 I'm keeping this uh, this is a minnow pearl mix keeping it on top of the hook shank now I'm going to put in a layer of chartreuse so here's the same product but I get over to the chartreuse and it's quite a bit different. It's quite a bit longer than the pearl was. So I need to work with this and get it to match up to about the same length. The Surf Candy is a fly used on the East Coast for decades well known it's uh, people usually say oh it's an easy fly to tie in you know like any pattern if you get used to it it is easy but when you're first starting like I was now here's the um, the shrimp pink and gosh this is really long again same product so I'm gonna cut off a pretty big chunk and then I'm going to work on thinning and I'm going to save that for later use and I'm going to wet this a little bit to try to manage it lay this on top sometimes these materials have a variety of textures because the temperature at which they are dyed sometimes it's just different manufacturing lots it, it, it's well it's like with feathers with bucktails you know if you purchase 50 bucktails they're not all going to be the same so that's the end of my tying have three layers of the shimmer fringe. I'm going to hit this with a just a touch of the Cure Goo Hydro. Get it spread around, and that sinks in. And I'm not sure how well the fluorescence. Uh, shows on the video but you hit it with this ultraviolet light and it's very bright now these are uh, adhesive holographic eyes these are five thirty seconds of an inch and they're adhesive just enough to hold them in place but they won't stay there on their own so here's, I really like to have a rotating vise because it helps me get things where they need to be. And you know, if your eyes 
fall off and you have to put them back on, that's fine. So now I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to put just a dab. This is uh, tack free cure goo, and that's a little bit more than a dab because I had a little bit more of a dab at the end of my nozzle. Cure that. And then I'm going to try to put it just a little dab underneath. I'm going to slightly build up um, the, the surf candy style of fly can be the body can be built up different thicknesses. Um, this this is a fly that I've used um, in the estuary uh, fishing for sea run cutthroat. And at various stages here, I just rotate my vise to try to now until I turn the light on, that material will flow slowly. Now I'm gonna I, I like that shape just fine. And you will see when, when you hit it with the light, it it contracts just a little bit, shrinks up just a little bit. So I'm asking myself, do I really want that any thicker? I don't think I do. I think I like it just fine like that. Now, if, if I wanted to, I could build up that body. I could extend the body back this far. In fact, why don't I do that just to show you how it could be done. Just put a little dab there. And now this will, um, this is the tack free. Some people like to use the thick. Some people like the tack free flex. The flex actually is flexible. Let's see, I'm going to bring that back a little bit further here. Uh, so, so the the thing about this fly is it 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 is really versatile for imitating fish fry. And fish fry are little tasty morsels for a whole range of fish. I actually fish this in the ocean for Pacific black rockfish. I'm going to hit this with the light. Firm it up there, cure it up. I fished it for cutthroat. I fished it for black rockfish. I fished it for silvers. And um, you can change the size of this fly. So, so you see what happens now is this is now uh, the material is stiff back past the bend of the hook and that will basically make it impossible for when you're casting even me casting to wrap on the hook shank. So there's a really nice uh, now I've got a few little stragglers here I'm gonna shorten them up. You have a really nice uh, shell pink shimmer candy for cutthroat and rockfish and silvers. Thank you.